Hey everyone, I am making something yummy, a sweet treat for breakfast, so stay tuned. Good morning, good morning. Welcome all you new folks and welcome back everybody to Loving In on Keto. You guys, we have some mail that I wanna share with everybody today. We'll do that a little bit later, but right now Harry and I are hungry and I am gonna make something absolutely delicious I'm very excited about. Um, Harry made bacon yesterday, so we'll have some bacon with that. How is everybody doing? Have you guys got all your Christmas stuff ready to go? We're just starting, so um, most of the grandkids and stuff get money every year, so that's what we do there because you never know what to get them when they get a certain age, right? And uh, all of the things they get, like the games and video games and any of those things, cost a lot of money. So, And you don't know which one they have, which one they want, what version, and all of those good things. So anyway, we're going to do that today. I have some returns that need to go back. Um, to Amazon uh, so I've got to go to Whole Foods that's my drop-off place so we've got to do that and then I've got to decide kind of what we're gonna do for the week as far as food and things are concerned fries has prime rib on sale so I've got to go by there and get a nice prime rib for uh, Christmas so I need to do that so I've got a lot to do today you guys but I had a problem last night going to sleep again if you guys tuned in last night to our video I was I was talking to people at like 3 3 a.m. 3 30 a.m. Mary thank you so much for telling me about GABA I did order the now brand on Amazon and it's coming we do take melatonin every night <coughs> pardon me I still have the residual um, and it could last a while Harry and I are still on inhalers but other than that no temperature I feel physically fine as far as no cold no virus no nothing I just have a residual thing that's going on so I sometimes sound a little bit crusty anyway you guys huh, are you planning on doing a keto Christmas or take or holiday are you celebrating Hanukkah you know what are you doing to stay keto or are you have you made a planned uh, day that you've decided what you're gonna do ahead of time and you're gonna do that and then hop back on keto, low carb, keto or carnivore, etc. Leave me a comment below and let me know. Now, several of you have asked me questions and I'm gonna answer those. Um, Mom uh, was in the hospital for a total of eight days and there was nothing more they could do for her. They were gonna send her to a convalescent home or a hospice and we chose hospice of the valley i was there until she got transported she went um i left her at 10 o'clock at night in her brand new beautiful room and you guys check out the ryan house r-y-a-n house the bottom floor is for children hospice the second floor is for adults it was a beautiful facility mom i tucked her in said good night to her at 10 p.m in the new facility and the next morning she went to heaven, so she was only there not even a whole day. But I just wanted to share that because so many of you have asked and truly, truly appreciate, again, the condolences, the well wishes, the thoughts and prayers that you guys have all given to Harry and I. Really, really do appreciate those things. Anyway, you guys, I am gonna make something delicious and I'll share with you that in the next segment so you guys we got to get this day started it's late it's uh one o'clock and we need to break our fast i am making pecan sticky bun waffles yes i am i even got my pecans at the grocery store if you guys saw me do my shopping that's what those are for now you can make them two ways and i'll share that um, with you guys in just a minute, but this is my regular um, Chaffle waffle recipe that I use all the time. I just change out the uh, Flavorings or additives to it, but it's basically four eggs two ounces of cream cheese 
and then a package of keto chow, whichever flavor you like. But I am adding more things today because I want to make a maple cream cheese frosting for these. I want to add pecan pieces to this. This is going to be a decadent, rich, delicious breakfast. Yes, indeed. Any IHOP recipe is going to be jealous because this is going to taste absolutely delicious. It's going to be keto. It's going to be low carb. It, it could even be considered keto vor. So you guys, I'm ready to get started. Now, something I do did forget to get is syrup. It's in here. So I've got my waffle maker. It's a Quasinart. It's a big one. I always add four eggs, so I'm going to put those in here. God, these are such thin, thin. You can really tell the difference between organic free-range eggshells and the, just the white eggshells. These are just so thin. Four. Let me wash my hands. I'll be right back. Wait a minute, don't get me. I forgot my cream cheese bowl. So gotta get that. Now, I put about two ounces of cream cheese into my bowl to go in and this is where if you don't want to use cream cheese you don't have cream cheese use the mozzarella cheese but I really like cream cheese and the reason for that it tastes the most like um waffles the, the batter is most like waffles so I'm just going to nuke this and get this soft You guys, Granberry Farms, Rich, our friend, um, has uh, all kinds of wonderful drops. And I want to share. He's got a caramel cinnamon roll. He's got a baked cinnamon roll. And he's got a cinnamon Danish swirl, just to name a few. And that is Gremberry Farms. We've got a link down below. You get a 5% discount if you use the code Gremlin. You know, remember the movie Gremlins? That's the code. It's down in the description below. Rich March is a great guy and he always gives back. And if you're a part of our Facebook group, you guys will know what I'm talking about because he does a free Friday uh, drawing that he does and he gives away some free items, uh, a gift coupon that you can use to get these. So you guys, I would go and pick the favorite one that you want. Now, Harry, which one should we use? Baked cinnamon roll, caramel cinnamon roll. I think it needs to be the caramel. Yeah, there cinnamon you go, it's a time. good choice. I think that's a good choice. Now, I have got my, I should have looked for everything in here because of course it's in the dishwasher and it's all clean and ready for me. So let me get, one of these. Yes, indeed. So I have that. I want to let that cool down a little bit. So what I'm going to do in here is I'm going to put a few drops of the caramel cinnamon roll flavoring because I want to make the flavors pop. So I'm going to put six to eight. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten. I'm also like mine a little bit sweeter, so I'm going to add some English toffee liquid sweetener, and of course the English toffee gives it the caramel. One, three, four, five, six is usually what I add. I'm going to put a shake of cinnamon in mine because we love cinnamon. If you don't like cinnamon, don't use it. And then I am going to put the cream cheese in there. I just don't want it to be too hot. I don't want my eggs to melt so let me, me get cook. this cook 
excuse me, I said melt, right? Mm -hmm. Sorry. Now for the sticky pe the pecan sticky bun. Yes, indeed. Here we go. I am so excited about this. Yes, I am. How many are you making? Uh, however many this makes, usually it makes five or six, usually. Now this gets the batter very thick. Well, you've never used this batter before. I haven't, so. right, you're right. And every batter has a little bit different um, blend. This one doesn't have as much acacia fiber, which is nice because you guys, you get less net carbs. The net carbs on these are basically about a gram. And the uh, total carbs on these is only three total carbs, which is awesome. I think that's the least amount in their suite of flavors. And I think that is awesome. Now I'm going to add some water to this. I have a quarter of a cup just to put in. That's about half. Let's see how that does. Usually I use about a quarter of a cup, but I just wanted to make sure because like Harry says, each one has a little different uh, ingredient profile and that can make a difference on how the batter is as far as thickness is concerned. I may need just a teeny bit more, but let's see. Okay, now for the pecans. Where's the scissors? I don't want to use a lot of pecans because, again, pecans do have carbs in them. So I'm going to put some in here. And I am going to kind of mash them up a little bit for the um, for this dish. And I think the best way to do that, I saw that Harry, just to take a cup. They have a little mallet or a rolling pin. I have a rolling pin somewhere. I just don't know where at the moment. So I'm just doing it this way. Just getting these broken up. Get them the way you want them. I'm going to move my eggs over. Now, I am going to make a uh, frosting with this, this time a cream cheese frosting. So I'm going to put in two ounces of cream cheese. Actually, I'm going to put more than that in. I'm going to put four ounces of cream cheese. You do not have to make the cream cheese frosting. You can just put plain old maple syrup, but I pour them in while you're doing all this other stuff. Because I don't want to pour them in. Okay. They're going to go in on, I'll show you how I'm going to do it. Let me, let me nuke this just a little bit. 15. I need a fork. butter in with this to make delicious icing about two ounces two tablespoons it's gonna be delicious I'm just kind of getting it ready so that when my when I get the batter in 
they can be cooking. I'm gonna be using the baked cinnamon roll. I'm gonna put about mm, six drops. What is it? One, two, three, four, five, six. It is baked cinnamon roll Granberry Farms, and this one is the Liquid Barn brand. He tells you what brand it is as well. I'm gonna put some of that in. I'm gonna put some liquid English toffee stevia in this, about six drops. I'm gonna put some cinnamon in here. So now, this is what I thought I would do. Let me check that. That might need just a little bit more. Oh, well, that's pretty good. I am going to put in my nuts first. Mm. Mm -hmm -hmm. Save a little bit for you, the top. And then I'm gonna put in some batter. thick batter you guys. I'm gonna close it and let that cook. While that is cooking I'm gonna stir this up for my frosting. Now I'm gonna put some syrup in the frosting. Probably a couple tablespoons full. And I'm gonna stir this all up, you guys. So come back when I get this frosting all stirred. I think they're ready, you guys. Yeah, it's so smoky in here. So excited. Oh my gosh. Look at this. Did you left them in there too long? No, I didn't. But I gotta get them out. Look at the nuts. Mm -mm -mm. Now if you guys don't like nuts don't add the nuts if you you know with the with the sauce um, you can make the sauce more cream cheesy or more uh, syrupy or you know play around with it but we are excited about this let me get this last little one in let me put a little bit of nuts in there putting the nuts on toast the nuts don't you guys. forget your nuts don't forget the nuts I toast the nuts so that's what's exciting about it. Yes, I love my nuts toasted. Yes, you do. Also, if you do not have and you cannot get, Jerry, come back to me. If you do not have and you cannot get keto chow, Use a scoop of vanilla protein, your favorite, then add the Granberry Farm flavorings to your taste. Now, here's the good part. Let me get a spoon, I'm so excited. I ended up putting in uh, two ounces of butter to four ounces of cream cheese. I put in a quarter of a cup of maple syrup. I put in cinnamon. I put in English toffee. Mmm. Yes. English toffee stevia. Mm -mm -mm. These are going to be delicious. You could even make some brown sugar uh, sticky toffee to go on top of these, you guys. Yes, you could. Got to save some for the other guy. Let's move your camera. This one's got too much. Can't have too much of a good thing though, and in my opinion. I'll take some more of it. Now, 
You want to put on some cinnamon. Move. This is going to get in your camera, otherwise, dear. I thought you were going over there. No. Dust it with cinnamon. Put some toasted pecans on top. One for the picture because it looks so pretty. Oh yeah, huh? I'm gonna come back. And you guys, we have got pecan sticky buns with a delicious sticky bun cream cheese topping for breakfast. Doesn't that look delicious? You guys come back and Harry will do a taste test. Yes, he will. Mm -mm -mm. This one, huh? Mm-hmm. Why don't you hold it up? This hold stuff. the plate up. You want some of that stuff? Yes, you want some do. Of this right okay, here. get some of that. Mm. Careful because it's going to be hot. I'm trying to cut on the roundness of the plate here. All right. Mm, see that? Mm -mm -mm. Yep. Mmm. Mm hmm. I like these. Okay, well, we've got another one coming for you, so go ahead and put those down. So tell me what they taste like. Like goodness, it explodes in my mouth. That's all I can tell you, because it just is good. Very Christmassy. Is it? Holiday? Yeah, holiday, there you go. This would be something great to have if you have guests over and make it Christmas morning or any day, actually. Right? Yep. Oh, I cut myself a nice big piece. Mm-mm-mm. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yes, indeed, I did. Mm. Did you get it in there? Mm-hmm. I know. Mm -hmm. really, doesn't it taste very holiday-like? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Extremely. Mm-mm-mm. Mm -hmm. Any day, any day now, it's gonna come. It'll, it'll come forth. Here it comes. It's coming. The chewiness of the pecans in there. Yeah, that man. That sweet maple buttery cream cheesy topping with cinnamon. Oh yeah, it's really good. Eh? Man, you guys, that's fabulous. Anyway, you guys, we've got to eat now. So we'll see you guys in the next segment. You guys. This is heavenly, and I want to enjoy it with a nice cup of Momento Mexican Oaxaca coffee. Yes, indeed. You guys, I've had this setting for a few days. I want to share our mail that everybody sent to us. So we have not been back to the post office yet today. We haven't gone out of the house yet, but we plan on doing that. So I want to share this stuff with everybody. This looks like a Christmas card from Joan. So let me see this. Can't show you the front because it has <laughs> her address. Wishing you many joys throughout the holiday season. Cute. Little puppy dog. That's cute, right? It's cute, cute, cute. May you have joy in your home and peace in your heart, in your world at Christmas and throughout the year. You are appreciated. Joanne. Joanne, thank you so much. Very, very much. I appreciate that. This is from the, the Close family. Amy, Michael, and her son. This is a beautiful picture. Faith, love, and hope. She's got all these wonderful men. <laughs> Yeah. Thank you so much, Amy and Michael. I appreciate it. I love cards and you guys. <sighs> Let's see. I opened this up because I wanted to, I was expecting something from uh, somebody. 
and uh, I just open this, cut it open, just to do a quick glance and see what this is. It's, it's in there very, hand me those scissors by the, oh, no, I got it, never mind. Okay, I like to read the notes first. This is an enviro cloth, cleans everything using only water. Oh, interesting. She's got all the rules on here for me. This is from it's on Shauna. The back. It says there's something on the back there. Thank you, Shauna. So this is this, well, you know what? I'm gonna try it right now because my glasses are dirty. Let's see how it works. Says use it on, ooh, everything. Mm -hmm. Let me see. So if you guys like own Did really- Did that help? You guys, if you guys own like really expensive lenses, what would you do if somebody walked up and started wiping your lens ooh, off? Ooh, look at this. And what is this? Cleaning paste. Oh, really? Yep. So she sent me all the information. She sent me a cloth, she sent me a cleaning paste, and she sent me, um, it's embedded with micro silver, so it self purifies. Only needs to be washed in the washer every one to two weeks. There's rules here on it. Oh, interesting, huh? There's rules on the cloth. Cleans furniture, removes stains. It just goes on and on. And then there's ways to use the paste and the spiral sponge. Cool. Yeah, right? Yeah, you can use the paste in this on like your stove top. Thank you so much, I have to read about it. I have to read all about that. Now, let's see what this one is. I think I pulled the tape on this. I was looking for brown socks today. To oh, go with funny, my brown, man. I, got my, I got crazy socks on. Yeah. Got are. my crazy John Blue Box socks on. Let's take an orange. But I was looking for brown, so this is perfect. Bring me some bacon if you can. Huh. Wait a minute, I gotta open this That's up. That's cool. I love my crazy socks. What? Let me get that. I gotta see what this says. Because it is sock season. It's cold, and when we start traveling in Arvita, which we plan on doing very shortly after the new year, we're going to go down to Quartzsite, I think, in January. Oh, look at this. How cute are these? Bacon Bring me socks. some bacon if you can read this. So when I'm sitting up here, if you walk by me, I got these socks on. You have to bring me some bacon. Yes, indeed. I love these. These are so cute. Look, got strips of bacon, little piggies on there. Yeah. Yes. So I need a brown. Oh, look. These are going to go perfect with my new brown pants. Yep. You guys, I love brown. You can hardly find brown. And this looked yellow <laughs> on uh, Amazon. You just got to go to the UPS store Harry, and find the right Harry, brown. Harry's so thoughtful. He goes, Instead of eating your feelings, why don't you go shopping? Just shop for some things on Amazon. Show me, and you can have it for Christmas. And you can wear it when you get it. So she you, did. I did. Oh, my. Uh. I did. I did. Well, I need some new things. Yeah, I'll yes, say. I like, no. I, like I got to build wait, another wait. closet. Yes, you do. Okay. So, Merry Christmas, Wendy and Harry. Enjoy your gifts from Angela. Angela, thank you so much. This is so cute. I love it. Oh, I love it. I opened this one. I think the bacon ones are for Harry, but I may steal them anyway. I, <laughs> I because I think these ones are mine. Yeah, I think so. I don't know. I, I just, I'm, I'm just like, I'm getting a vibe. Mmm. Yep. These ones are mine. <laughs> but you can wear them too, Harry. Yes, I know. I have a share. I have a share. Look at these. Ooh, ooh, ooh. 
Yes, oh, indeed. Huh? Yeah. These are gorgeous. Ooh, and they're stretchy nice, too. Thank you so much. Ooh, man. Angela, you are a doll. Thank you, thank you. But I'm telling you, Harry doesn't get the bacon socks. He can borrow <laughs> them. He can borrow my socks. Uh -huh, I have, uh -huh, uh -huh. He can borrow my socks. Yep. But I, I, I know you said Harry and Wendy, and, and I think these ones are mine. But um, these are lovely, you too. Yeah, there you go. Anyway, thank you so very, you can do very that. much. I love them. Yeah, cool. Yeah. I love fun things that bring a smile to my face. Because who doesn't want to smile every day, right, you guys? And let me tell you, those butter, peca the pecan, sticky oh, bun, wow, those were, waffles, oh my gosh. were amazing. Probably, uh, I thought Absolutely to say they're the number one right amazing. now. Amazing. Oh, yeah, they're number one right now. I want to know how's your mouth feel by eating pecan. No, I, I'm fine. Sometimes you've had an issue. I'm, I'm fine. You do with walnuts for sure. Let's wait and see about an hour or yes, so. Yes, are close. This is an interesting box. Yeah, it looks like she made it. This is from Sarah. Can't show you the front of the box because it does have an address on it. Oops. Ooh, interesting. Wendy, Harry, and their little dog too. How cute is that? Oh, look, you've got a Sheltie Collie. I had one named Laddie. And you've got a Border Collie, too, mix, maybe? Ho, ho, ho. Sarah, Bluegrass Girl Goes Keto. Now I know who you are, Sarah. She's the Bluegrass Girl Goes Keto. Yeah. Marry everything and happy always. The McCoy family, thank you so very much. This is heavy bubble wrap. This is a good bubble wrap. You did a great job of wrapping that. Don't know what it is yet, but we will soon find out. What a neat look, feel that. That is like really nice. Yeah, Harry. good for packing, huh? Yeah. I love this thing. This thing is child friendly. It's wonderful. Thank you for this gift, because I'm telling you, it's wonderful. Now, let's see. You're a great rapper. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, what is that? Vanilla paste. Vanilla beans, vanilla extract, allulose water, lemon juice, and xanthan gum from Sarah. Sarah, thank you so much. Yeah, look at that, man. And it didn't break, which is even better. Yeah. Don't like any breakage. No breakage. That would have been great in our um, cream cheese frosting yeah, today. Yeah, they would have. Vanilla extract. Ingredients, vanilla, bean, X. Extractives in water and alcohol, Sarah. Thank you so very much. I'm assuming this is both homemade and you did it with love. And thank you so very, very much. She even has her cute little um, little uh, card too. Yeah. Very cute, very cute, Sarah. So you guys, that's what we have so far. We're gonna be checking our um, mailbox as we go out and about. We've got to go there, we've got to do some banking. I've got to take some things to the Goodwill. And uh, you guys, I burnt out our Ace Cool <laughs> uh, coffee pot. It was all my fault. I left it plugged in and I left it hot on. And when we came back, it was dry because you do have to turn it off. Um, it was dry and it kind of smelled like it was burnt and Harry, and it wasn't working and Harry plugged it in and tried several things so it died. So. I ordered another one right away uh, that was not an Ace Cool, but I ordered this one. I'm not liking it as well because no. it just doesn't have the same, and it doesn't heat as much, but it's red. This one is a Brentwood. It doesn't 
heat as quickly. And it doesn't have the thermostat. It doesn't have can... the thermostat, so you get what you get. It boils and then it turns itself off. But yeah, I killed it. it, it it's going in the trash. So we, we've killed two now. Harry burnt the bottom of my first one, melted it on the stove, and they were generous enough to see that and send me another one, which was awesome. But I killed it. So this family, I'm telling you, Lori kills my frying pan. Harry burns my other one on the stove. We've got to stay away from the stove and stay away from electric and unplug things that can stay on. If you're going to have a pot that stays on and comes and brings the water back to boil, you can't leave the house for seven hours because we could have had a fire. That was all on me. So yeah. Watch your stuff. Unplug your stuff when you're not using it. I unplug my air fryer. I try to unplug. Uh, uh, practicing what I'm preaching right now. There. Anyway, you guys, we've got to go do some stuff. I've broken out some winter stuff because quartzite gets very cold. Cold out in the desert. So I'm starting to pack some of my stuff. Harry's right. We need to have a core, like core slacks, jeans, things in Arvita, so mm -hmm. we're not transporting clothes back and forth, which gave me the opportunity to buy a few new things. And we bought a few, um, right? Well, I want to show the sheets I bought. A I'm few very dozen. Excited. I'm very excited. Besides all of mom's paperwork and stuff that I'm going through, I ordered sheets for the bed because it gets cold in the winter and when we start traveling elsewhere. Even northern um, Arizona, there's snow. Mm -hmm. And we want to go up to the um, Grand Canyon. Yeah. And stay, there stay. A while. there's a resort, there's a campground, there's a resort, RV resort. Um, and I can't pronounce the name of the city right outside the gates, but we're going to go there. But uh, we got these winter fleeces. We used to have them in our fifth wheel camper. And I think. The old when one. we moved, the old one, I think I got rid of them because this is a premium polar fleece blanket. If you guys have ever had one, these are awesome. <clears throat> these are absolutely awesome. And like Harry said, we're going to go change out our Vita, the bed, strip the bed and make it because like I said, we plan on going to Quartzsite. This is... This is Bear Home, was started in Minnesota in 2008. Hmm, specialty size bedding company. They do all kinds of things. These are their polar fleece sheets. So those of you in Minnesota, you would know that they have these sheets there. The company. That's my interpretation of a Minnesotan. Minnesotian? Uh oh, here it goes, I'm in a hurry. Yeah. It's fluffing up. Kind of like our map. Ooh, feel that. Ooh, nice. Nice. Come over here and look. Mm -mm. Nice fleece. Yeah, man. That's going to feel wonderful. Oh, yeah. I still have my silk pillowcase because I love silk. I adore silk. You know, it's good for wrinkles, preventing wrinkles. It's great for your hair, too. Anyway, I'm excited about this. And I got it in a neutral color. And it'll go beautiful underneath my peacock spread. But these will be nice and warm in the desert in quartzite. Because it gets down in it gets down below freezing or pretty, oh, yeah. pretty thereabouts in the 30s. And then if the mm -hmm. wind chill factor comes up, because it's flat and open there, you always are getting wind with dirt in it, but wind and chilly. Huh, Harry? Yep. So anyway, you guys, I'm excited about this. I got all my stuff. Oh, one more thing I bought. I have to share. I have to share. I have to share got this beautiful hat for winter wear, especially if we're going off-roading or we're using our little uh, vehicle to drive around because you can get in and out of spots and stuff. Arizona, you can drive them anywhere in the city as long as you have a tail light, um, headlight. headlight, and a turn signal. Mm -hmm. You don't have to have windows, doors, roofs. People have taken trucks and gutted the, take, cut off the roof, taken off all the doors and take those things out in the desert. But isn't this lovely? This is a beautiful hat. Absolutely adore it. Thank you, Harry. Mm-hmm. Yes, Put it on. Me. Well, no, I'm messing my hair. Oh, okay, okay. Right. I'm not going right. Well, hold I'm, it I'm up. Going, I did. Would you like to try it on for everybody? Sure. Okay, come here. 
Isn't that pretty, you guys? Woo! Babuchka. Turn around. Turn your head around. I love it. Look. Ooh, turn my so head sorry. around. I'm sorry, but I can't hold the camera and turn my head at the same time. Okay. There. See, isn't that nice, ladies? Yes, indeed. Thank you for modeling, Darren. Sure. Come I appreciate here. it. I appreciate it. And mm -hmm. the nice thing is, if you have a smaller head, they do have the string that you can pull to make it tighter around the rim. And it's a knit on this side. And these are on Amazon. So that they had them in red, black. This one's sable brown. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's um, beautiful. Mink and fox. Mm -hmm. And not that, not that pricey. No, no. $49.95. So I love it. Maybe I will try it on. Because I love it. Well, let me see. I must say, uh, it looks better on you. I love it, you guys. It's cute. Cute patoot. I like it. Anyway, I'm just sharing you guys what I'm doing, and it makes me feel good. And um, it's very functional, too. Okay, you guys, I am preheating my oven to 225, and I am making my favorite keto egg white protein buttermilk bread version 2.0 recipe. Yes, I am. I will pin this to the top of the comments. It's already on Facebook with Wendy fans because this is the one that I love right now that I'm doing. So there's two parts. You wanna mix your fats, the ingredients that have fat in them in a separate bowl to be added after you have stiff peaks and then the things that do not have fat in them in the bowl so that you can make and whip your egg whites into stiff peaks. So I've got one and a half cups of water. I'm going to put in a teaspoon of tart cream of tartar. I'm going to put in a tablespoon only of allulose. You know, when we first started making the bread, we used a quarter of a cup, and you don't need a quarter of a cup. You just need about a tablespoon, and you will get a nice, crispy, golden brown top. I know a lot of you that live outside of the United States, allulose is twice as expensive as it is here, and everything is getting expensive. So anytime you can um, shorten how much you use of a product, that helps save you money. Now I have got grass-fed beef gelatin. You can use, and this is called Zint. It's on our uh, Loving It On Keto Amazon store site link. But you can use Knox gelatin, right? So I wanna make sure I'm using the right amount. One tablespoon. And you just want to sprinkle it around the water, just to kind of let it bloom a little bit. And then I want to put in some salt. Let me get my salt. And I'm going to put in about a teaspoon of salt. Right there is my salt. And then over here, if you come over here, I'm going to measure my fats in grams. So I've got egg yolk powder that I'm going to use six grams of. And if you don't have the powder, you can use fresh egg yolk. You just put it in at the very end. That's six. It's about a tablespoon. But if you want to get totally, totally measure it, you can get it down to the grams. So I'm going to do the same with buttermilk, a uh, butter, butter powder. Again, you can melt your butter and let it cool off and add it at the very, very end with your um, egg yolks. Just make sure it's not too hot or you'll cook the raw egg. So this you want six grams of. There we go. And then buttermilk powder must weigh more because you need nine grams or another tablespoon. So a tablespoon, 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 but I like measuring in grams to make sure I get the exact amount. Nine. 
Okay, so the fats are ready. I've added everything. Now I'm going to add in my egg white protein powder. I got it on sale. Um, I got bulk supplement on sale Black Friday, and I got several containers of it in the biggest size I could get. So Harry just refilled this for me. That uh, kind of went everywhere. Yeah, it did. So I am going to put in 120 grams, just a little less than 120 grams. Yeah, she's doing weight by deduction. Yes, I'm going backwards. Which I really think works better. After watching this stuff, it's so easier. There we go. Now you guys, you want to whip this until you have stiff pinks, then we'll come back and add in the rest of the ingredients that have a fat content to it. So we want to beat this until we have stiff peaks. Start off slow because of the powder. Oops, first you got to raise it. Once you have stiff peaks, something I forgot to share is you want to put some nutritional yeast in it. You can use one to three teaspoons. It's up to you. I like it. It adds a bready, nutty flavor. You don't have to use it if you're allergic or don't like nutritional yeast, but I added some of mine. So now this is where you want to turn it on low. <laughs> to incorporate and I turn it on 10 seconds high and it kind of knocks the ball off of the whisk. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And it's ready. And the minute that you add the fats in, it will start to fall a little bit. So you want to get it in to the pan and into the stove pretty quickly. You guys, I'm going to knock it, so hold your hearing. That's good. Let me go wipe this real quick. Looks like you got quite a bit. We did. You guys can see the color. It's a real pretty kind of color. Cream. Yeah, you know, I try to adjust it so you guys can see the color when I edit it. But it, just, it still just doesn't do it justice, you know? So you just want to take your uh, spatula, get down to the bottom, kind of stir it because mm -hmm. sometimes some of the powder sticks to the bottom. Sometimes there's a little bit of powder to the sides. If there's any that didn't get mixed in well, you could have a white streak in your bread that's kind of a styrofoam streak. So. I just like giving it a quick toss and a stir just to make sure everything is in there. And then you put it in your bowl. The buttermilk and the gelatin just make this such a nice um, bread, doesn't it, Harry? Yep. Then you just take these off and wash, rinse them off for the next time. I like holding them because my bread parchment paper, I love using parchment paper because you can pick this hot out of the oven up onto a cooling wrap and I just feel that it dries better. It, it, it uh, cools down better, excuse me, not dries better. It stays dry, it doesn't get moistness in it by sitting in the pan. You can um, use frozen butter, grate it instead, and use that at the end. 
instead of uh, melted butter, if you like. That works wonderfully. You can use brown butter, which is absolutely delicious. But this bread, I like it just the way I made it. It's a good staple, and I have yeah, something I, love this bread, man. I want to make tonight to eat that requires me to have two slices of bread. Right. So I yeah, I can have bologna sandwiches if I want. That's right, you can. Yep. Which is really cool, or ham sandwiches, or yes. you know, with cheese. And, uh, yes, you can. I could do the whole bit, man. It is. Yes, you can. Oh, oh it's so nice. So nice to be able to have a sandwich. Yes. Huh? Yep. Because you know, I I love sandwiches. So to us, we pretty well can have and make something that is a keto resemblance to what it was that we are missing. And we've had keto for so long that we don't miss or know yeah. even the real taste of exactly. something anymore. Anyway, goes in for 40 minutes. Come back when it's buttermilk bread 2.0. Yes. Hey everybody, my bread is almost ready. Then I'm gonna pull it out and let it rest. And then for dinner, we're gonna have something delicious um, and leftover uh, chicken, broccoli, Alfredo casserole, as well as something else that I wanna make myself. And Harry too, we talked about it, didn't we Harry? Mm-hmm. And it sounds delicious. Yes, I'm very uh, excited about this. Yeah, so am I. Anyway, you guys, let's stop this. And let's stop clear my oven and take out the bread. Mm, mm, Look mm. how pretty that is. That is so pretty. Isn't that a pretty loaf? Yep. Yeah, I like that, man. It's yeah. hot though. It's very hot. Let's get in here. Peaky C. Yeah, man. Got a nice peaky C. This is why I love parchment paper. Now this will shrink, the bread shrinks just a little bit. When you use the buttermilk powder, it does shrink just a dinky, dinky winky bit. But that's okay because the bread is delicious. So Then you can even reuse your parchment paper, you guys. So bakeries typically use their their parchment paper several times before they... So you just want to take the, the crumbs and knock them off. Reusable parchment paper. Be careful, don't burn yourself when you put it back in your pan. But there you go, you guys. There's my delicious bread. Doesn't that look beautiful? Yes, it does. so good and we're gonna have some for dinner yes we are anyway you guys gotta let this cool down and we'll be back in the next segment hey everybody we just got back from the post office and Whole Foods and dropping things off you guys we got a lot of cards and I started opening them and I just get too emotional so what I'd like to do is thank everybody ahead of time and then I'd like to just go through and read them and then I'll share the pretty cards maybe and show you guys. But thank you so much for the outpouring of love and prayers and condolences. I truly appreciate it. Sorry. See, I'm a big sap. So you guys, it, it would be too emotional for me to read these on camera. It already is. But I got something here too. And this is from a uh, Hilda, they put the label over it, so I don't know. So let me uh, open this up. Just opened this up. And this is absolutely beautiful stationery. Look at this. Peacock, of course. Oh, wow. Isn't this lovely? Oh, really let me open this. Wendy, Harry, and Sally, thank you for all you do. Ashley H., wow, how pretty are these? <sighs> Aren't these beautiful? Oops. She's got her last name, so I can't. I'm trying not to 
Aren't these beautiful, you guys? Wow. Yeah, those are pretty, huh? They're beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. See, I just get too emotional. This is beautiful, you guys. All of the peacock stuff. Absolutely beautiful. It's like you put it on your writing desk, yeah. you know. Yeah. Anyway, you guys, I just want to say thank you to Jim and Cynthia. Kim. You guys, thank you. Got off the camera. One other thing that um, Ashley sent me is this beautiful peacock decoration. Oh, wow, yeah. Check Isn't it out. this pretty? Yeah. It's so pretty. And I'm going to absolutely keep this and hang this on my tree next year. Ashley, thank you so much, you guys. Um, Harry, I want you just to pan the cards, and this Christmas card is darling. But as I read, everybody, you guys, thank you, Patricia Miguel, Patricia G. Carter, Miss May Brissett, Ron and Mona Plath, Mrs. Darlene Shepherd, Judy Pinyard, Teresa Senko, Kim and Paul Halper. Jim and Cynthia West, Mrs. Antoinette Heidman, Tanya Fuentes, Martina Janetti, family, uh, Cindy <clears throat> Demanche, Stacy Wilson, Debbie Smith, Brian and Cindy Demanche, Kim Remedis. Thomas and Judy and Tanya again and whoever lives at 220 Westover you guys thank you so much from the bottom of my heart thank you so much for all of the caring that everybody's given us but I'm gonna go ahead and close this video out tonight you guys this is just overwhelming for me so anyway everybody I'll see everybody tomorrow. Good night, everyone.